Hi, Scary Recaps here. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Lovely Molly from 2011. Beware of spoilers. The film begins with Molly talking on a video recording. She is crying and seems remorseful, apologizing for everything she has done. In the end, she tries to slit her throat with a knife. It is October 16th, 2011, and the film proceeds through various flashbacks. Tim and Molly have just gotten married and decide to move into Molly's childhood home. Molly's sister, Hannah, helps them out. Things look perfectly fine until one night, the alarm goes off. The couple is startled and Molly calls the police. Tim searches the house in case of any intruders, but finds nothing. When the police arrive, they investigate the place from top to bottom, but they don't find any signs of forced entry. Footage of the interior of the house is being shown. In the morning, Tim talks to Molly and explains to her that he has to leave for work. Molly is annoyed by this because the following day is her birthday, but Tim doesn't have a choice. He leaves and Molly goes to her job. Later, Hannah visits Molly and talks casually with her. When Molly is left alone, she starts to wander around the house and gets frightened when someone knocks violently at the door and tries to enter. Molly calls the police again, and this time, the officer tells her that perhaps some kids from the neighborhood might be playing a trick. She chats with her for a while and leaves. Molly then tries to feel comfortable in the house. A second piece of footage, dating October 8, 2011, shows someone, presumably Molly, approaching a house. A woman and her two children are having dinner. The camera focuses on a little blonde girl. The next day, Tim returns and finds Molly sitting naked on the bed, staring blankly at the ceiling. She doesn't remember anything of how she got there in that condition, and Tim is worried. Molly admits to having smoked a joint, and Tim suggests seeing a doctor. Later on, Molly hears a man's voice singing the traditional song lovely Molly at work. At home, Molly experiences a series of strange and paranormal phenomena, voices speaking to her, the same man's voice singing lovely Molly, and a door opening and shutting on its own. The following day, Molly's boss shows her footage where Molly is being sexually harassed by an invisible force. She breaks down in tears and then laughs hysterically and screams at him. She is sent away, and Hannah drives her home. She is trying to figure out what is going on with her sister. Molly keeps recording the strange family, and the little blonde girl becomes aware of her presence. Afterwards, Molly films a dead deer in the woods. Pastor Bobby comes to visit, and Molly attempts to seduce him. Pastor Bobby flees the house, and Molly injects heroin into her system. Hannah comes over and talks to her. In the morning, Tim finds out about Molly's relapse to drugs and notices a strange rotting smell inside the house. He advises her again to go and see a doctor, but Molly seems distant, lost in her thoughts. During the night, Tim catches Molly talking to an unseen figure in the kitchen, saying that it is her father. Tim takes her back to bed, and the following day, they go to the doctor together. The doctor prescribes sedatives to Molly and assures Tim that everything is going to be alright. That night, Molly finds a screwdriver under the couch and has a panic attack. She screams that her father is chasing her and Tim tries hard to prove to her that there's nothing out there. Molly calms down and starts to make out with Tim, but suddenly she bites his lips so hard that she almost pulls them off. Tim breaks away and calls Hannah for assistance. Molly has gone missing, and Tim tells Hannah about the heroin relapse. They search for her, and Hannah finds her in the basement, stabbing repeatedly the dead deer that she found in the woods. Hannah is in shock, and confesses that she had to kill their father in order to protect Molly. She yells at Molly about her choice to return to that house, and in the end, she tells her to move in with her and her son Peter. Molly says no and starts giggling, noting that if she comes with her, then their father will gut Peter from belly to neck. More footage of the family is shown now. 
it is revealed that Tim is familiar with them. He is seen sitting on the couch with the mother, who afterwards performs oral sex on him. Later, a car stops in front of Molly's house. Pastor Bobby is inside. Molly comes out of the house, fully naked, and Pastor Bobby steps closer and kneels before her. After some time, Molly films Pastor Bobby's corpse, lying in the bathtub, covered in bite marks and blood. A screwdriver is sticking out of the back of his head. Tim returns home and discovers the video camera playing the footage of himself and the neighbor having oral sex. Molly surprises him and hits him from behind with a bat. She drags him to the basement, and even though Tim tells her that he is sorry, Molly kills him by stabbing a screwdriver in the back of his head, just like she did to Pastor Bobby. Moments later, the police search in the woods. They're digging and uncover the body of the little blonde girl. The mother starts to scream and cry, and Molly, who is present, filming the scene with her video camera, backs away and leaves. Afterwards, Molly is seen lying naked on the floor, crying. Her attitude changes, however, and she raises her head, smiling wickedly. She walks out of the house, toward a cryptic tall figure with glowing eyes and horns on its head, who embraces her. Several days later, the house has been emptied and is for sale again. Hannah walks across the vacant rooms, not knowing the fate of her sister or her whereabouts. In the bedroom, Hannah finds the family photo album on the floor. As she flips through the pages, she sees that their father's face has been replaced by images of horse heads. Suddenly, a noise coming from the closet draws her attention. Hannah walks over and opens the closet. Looking as though mesmerized by something unseen, Hannah extends her hand to the dark interior, just like Molly did a few days before.